information tonight following an incident at a school that has parents demanding answers and now prosecutors appear to be getting involved. News 12's Tama Ponton was at tonight's meeting in Patchogue and joins us now with the very latest. Good evening, Tama. Well, good evening, Joe. That new information coming directly from the superintendent of Patchogue Medford Schools. She said tonight at this meeting that in addition to the Suffolk police investigation that is going on into that packet of bullets that was found Friday at the high school, there is also now an investigation underway from the Suffolk District Attorney's Office. The parents we spoke with say they want to get to the bottom of what happened here, and they also want assurances from the school that their children are safe. This outrage and chaos are caused by the lack of communication. Parents, teachers, and community members say they came to tonight's Patchogue Medford School District meeting to directly tell board members they are outraged about what they say is a lack of communication and transparency when it came to notifying them about bullets that were found on Friday at the school. I know it's just bullets, but you don't know, and these are the questions that were running through my head. Is there a gun hiding in the school? Um, is there more weapons somewhere else? As News 12 has reported, a foil packet with 19 bullets was found in one of the vestibule entrances to the high school. Parents and students say they're upset because they didn't learn about the bullets until two days after they'd been found. But I think we need to feel a sense of security ourselves because we do put our children in your hands. Sharon Ray says she was so upset about it, she started this change.org petition calling for the superintendent to be removed because of how the incident is being handled. I do think that she should resign. At the meeting, the superintendent said she could not answer any questions because of the ongoing police investigation and also because she says the district attorney's office is now investigating as well. It is an open investigation that I would like to be able to express and relieve some of your anxiety but not compromise the investigation. Now, we did reach out to the Suffolk District Attorney's Office about this and were told that they do not confirm or deny investigations. Joe? Now, Tama, we know how frustrated those parents are. Do they get any answers tonight? Joe, they didn't because they were only able to speak to board members during the public comment section here. They couldn't get any questions answered. But Suffolk police do say there does not appear to be a credible threat to the high school. One parent telling me despite that assurance, she's not sure she's going to send her daughter to school tomorrow.